Hey guys, it's Friday, waxing on, and as you know on Friday just about anything goes. Today we're looking at an artist, singer-songwriter, um, I'm going to say a little bit country, a little bit folk, and a lot of times with these singer-songwriters it's really hard to define uh, what category they fit in. I mean they created a whole category of their own, and this was one that uh, I say kind of fell into that, Jesse Winchester. American, came to Canada in the early 70s, kind of spurned on by the, the war in Vietnam, what was happening in the States, things he didn't agree with. He got out of there and settled in Montreal area, did some recording in Toronto, and turned out some pretty nice albums. Now, Jesse Winchester was more known as a songwriter, and a lot of uh, big names had recorded with him, and you'll see even a few of them joined him on the this album here, this album called Nothing But a Breeze, uh, recorded in Toronto. And let's just take a look at what we've got here. We got uh, Do 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 Record Eastern Sound in Toronto, a very famous recording studio. Who have we got for players? Well, we got Jesse Winchester, a piano, guitar, organ, marimba, vibes. I mean, what does he not play on here? Marty Harris on bass, Dave Lewis on drums, Bobby Cohen guitar, Ron Dunn, or Ron Dan on pedal steel, with Ricky Skaggs on fiddle, great country player out of the U.S., uh, John Clark, recorder sax. We've got uh, some supporting vocals by Emmy Lou Harris. Now, he had, Emmy Lou had recorded some of his material before as well. She's uh, joining him on two songs here, Nothing But a Breeze and My Songbird. We also have Ann Murray, who we mentioned uh, last week, I believe it was. No, maybe two weeks ago, we did John Allen Cameron, Ann Murray out of uh, Nova Scotia. Had a big hit with Song or Snowbird, did music for Rhinestone Cowboy, had a lot of hits. She joins uh, Jesse here on two songs, Seems Only Like Yesterday and You Remember Me. We've got Nicolette Larson, another very famous singer of Pourquoi Mes Amis Tu Pas and Twigs and Seeds. Hey, it's okay now, everything's legal up here. Um, a lot of special guests in there. So a lot of people with a lot of respect for what Jesse Winchester was doing. And again, it, some of it I think is a little overproduced. I would like to have heard him just playing guitar and singing the tunes. But I mean, during the era, yeah, there's a lot of band stuff in there. And again, some of it felt a little overproduced for me, but the tunes are great. We've got uh, Nothing But A Breeze, My Songbird, Seems Like Only Yesterday, you Remember Me and Twigs and Seeds, all but one written by Jesse Winchester. Uh, Gilding the Lily, Bold and Green, Pourquoi Mes Amis Tu Pas, It Takes a Young Girl and Rumba Man. Now, some of the songs may not be that familiar. I mean, uh, when I hear Nothing But a Breeze, that is quite familiar. I think he also wrote one uh, brand new Tennessee Waltz. And I'll tell you, the best version I heard of that, Colleen Peterson, who we talked about again a few months ago. It's a great tune, and some days, you know, I, I put this on or I'm thinking about it in my head and because I don't know about you, i got the soundtrack running in my head all the time. I never know what it's going to be. Sometimes it's folk, sometimes it's jazz. You never know. This last couple of weeks has been some of Jesse Winchester's music, and it really, really is nice stuff to sit down sometimes when you just want to unwind and kind of enjoy something to settle in for the night. going to be a great thing as the weekend comes in. Maybe this is just what you're needing to kind of wind down after a Friday, hard week at work, snap on a little Jesse Winchester and just relax. So, again, he's got a lot of albums, uh, streaming networks, hard copies, everything's out there. Um, the only one I have, nothing but a breeze. Why I only bought one, who knows. Could have been the economics, again, back, you know, we're talking early 70s. Uh, maybe not a lot of money around to buy some, but I enjoyed what I heard on here. It wasn't that I didn't like it. I just didn't follow it up the way I did with some other players. But well worth checking out and, a, again, a great way to start your weekend. Okay, that's it for another week on Waxing On. I'd like to thank everybody for stopping by this week, watching the videos. Give us a like if you get a chance. Hey, share the videos with your friends. Maybe there'd be something they'd like. And just to remind everyone, we do have... Uh, everything categorized. If you're into jazz, there is a whole separate jazz section. There's a separate classic rock section. We've got soundtracks, uh, 
spoken word, comedy, folk, everything's categorized that I realize not every show may be what you're looking for, but if you like a certain style of music, go back and take a look. I mean, we're at almost 260 uh, episodes, so there's probably something there that might appeal to you. Check out somebody that you haven't listened to in a while, or maybe take the time to uh, discover somebody you had never heard of. Maybe we've introduced you to somebody or that might pique your curiosity and you get a chance to discover a whole new uh, musician and his work. And nothing could be better than that. So anyways, have a good weekend. Everybody take care, stay safe, and see you on Monday. Thanks for stopping by.